Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here, and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Now this week, we're actually going to be learning how to use the pen tool. I've gotten many requests for this, so I decided to finally uh, do my own little tutorial. Um, so, it's a really simple tool actually. Um, it doesn't really take too much skill to use, you just pretty much use it. Just uh, There's just different techniques that I can show you that'll help you with your projects and many manipulations and even in backgrounds. So, we're going to get straight into it. Um, just open up whichever Photoshop you have, go to File and then just do Open. Now here I'm going to actually show you uh, how to do it on an animal. So, we're going to go into where I saved it. I got this bird. Okay, so it's just a quick simple picture of the bird. Um, so, what you want to do is be very accurate, as accurate as you can, and zoom in as close as you can. Now, on these, as you can see in these parts, it's really smooth, and you can just do one uh, smooth stroke. So, all you got to do right here, just put a quick left, left click right here, and then go to the end of the curve on the other side, where it starts going straight, which is about right here, and then just hold and drag. Now, you can see this little line right here that uh, will adjust to how you move your mouse. So you just want to uh, line it up with his head as close as you can. Now, here uh, you have to do this step. You have to Alt and then click, left click, the little um, point where you click to end the line. Okay, if you don't do that, then this will happen. You will go keep uh, going and then it'll just, um, mess up eventually so like if you do a quick if you do this if you want to do a big curve and then you just go like that it'll make another curve it'll pretty much like keep the stroke going which you don't want you just want to do alt and then left click and then make it go straight there so unless you do want that that's the way you have to do it so we're just going to do control z here a few times <laughs> okay so now that we're past this part right here you're just gonna go keep going along just keep following the path now this is a technique that I use uh, mostly uh, when it gets to these little awkward areas you just uh, go really close to your last point and just keep clicking uh, all the way around just get as accurate as you can now this is much better than trying to just do a whole big curve um, it's a much better technique that you can use and it does take a lot more time but it's better to use and more accurate. All right, so I'll speed this up real quick so I can uh, show you the end product. Now I've come back to this point to show you. Uh, this is part of the hair um, on the duck. Now you have to, this part is a little bit tricky. You can't really uh, pen tool this part. So in your manipulations, you're probably gonna have to take a brush, a very easy uh, brush. Um, sorry, eraser, and just make sure the hardness is at zero, and then you're probably just going to have to take it around here so it doesn't look like there's really anything behind it. Now, that's just a quick thing that you're probably going to have to do. Uh, I just brought that up again, just, just another quick tip. Okay, so now we are done. So now we can Alt-Tab, and we can see that we have it around there very nice. Um, I could have probably done a little bit better, but for now it's okay. So now, this part uh, is very important. You just have to make sure that you still have the pen tool selected and make sure that you haven't done any other steps uh, right after you finish connecting the lines. So you're just gonna right click the line and then you're gonna do make selection and then leave everything as it is. And this should be checked and that should be at zero. And then this should just be a new selection. Just do okay. And now everything should be uh, selected. So now what you're going to do is do Control uh, c or Command-Z if you're on a Mac. Or, uh, sorry, Command-C. And then just do New Layer, then Control-V or Command-V. And then you have your own second uh, duck. So it's uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not the best, um, but it's good for this tutorial. Now again, uh, with this, you can see like his hair is a little bit weird. In manipulations, you're probably going to have to take a nice brush, like I said before, and then just make it like that, make, make it fade into the background a little bit more. 
just to make it look more realistic instead of making it look really choppy and really uh, just make it look um, instead of making it look like it just sort of cuts off. Now that's what you're gonna have to do. Now this is not the only thing that is possible with um, with the pen tool. So I'm gonna actually show you another thing that is possible. So we're just gonna do file new and then just do however you like it. All right. All right, so we're gonna go back to the pen tool. Now there's a, a few different things that we're able to do, which is now shape. Shape is another thing. You can make your own shape. Uh, just do whatever you want like that. It's just, uh, this is simple. That's uh, as straightforward as it comes. Uh, just make any kind of shape you want. Just, you know, you can turn it, twist it, everything like that. That's, that's self-explanatory. So that's just one of the things that we're able to do. Um, Again, the other thing, which is actually back into the path, you can just make a quick path, and then right-click, and now you see these three main options right here. We already did uh, make selection, and then we can do fill path, which is basically uh, making another shape. So uh, just do OK, and then it will do the main color that you have, which is the first color over here on the left. So you can do whatever you want. Um, so that's another thing that's possible. And now again, if you right click it again, there is stroke path. Now this one is actually very cool and very uh, useful to use. You just do stroke path and then you make sure that it's on brush. Now there's a whole bunch of things that you can play around with here, but I usually use brush and then I use, in this case, I won't turn this on and then it'll just make that. It all depend. the brush line will all depend on how your brush actually is. So since it's at a, a hardness of 100% and then 140, if I put it at three or four or five, eight, you'll see it actually go even larger, like so. You can see it actually goes larger. And then if I bring it down even more, it'll go smaller. So these are things that you can play around with a lot and just to see how it is to your liking. Now, another thing that I like to do is, all right, just erase this real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing I like to use, which is a really cool effect, is you just do one simple line and then make sure you do whatever color you want. I'll just do black. And then you just right click, stroke path, and then do simulate pressure. Make sure it's on the brush. And you can see how on the left uh, point, its uh, transparency is at zero, and on the right point, the transparency is zero, but in the middle, it's at 100%. This is something that's really cool that you can play around with a lot. Um, I would recommend for your brush to be at zero, the hardness to be at zero, and the size to be at, depends on your, uh, depends on what kind of um, project you're working on. But I recommend it to be at zero, and then it'll look like that, it'll look much better, it'll look more sharp and everything like that. So guys, this is a uh, little bit of a longer tutorial, but I th think that this is um, a very useful tool and I think it needs to be explained fully, which I believe I did. Um, if you do have any questions uh, about it, don't feel any hesitation to ask me. Just leave it in the comments, or if you don't even want to leave it in the comments, just uh, post a quick, um, a quick p uh, private message to me. So guys, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Cinema 4D, and Adobe After Effects, and if you would like to take part in my lookalike, uh, my new series, then please do subscribe, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.